Bayan Spicy Lady Diary presents How I Renew My Philippine Passport at the Philippine Embassy Washington DC 2022 First the jurisdiction of where I live I live in Florida so I need to renew my Philippine passport in Washington DC <music> Steps on how I renew my Philippine passport in the U.S. for the first time in the U.S.A. How I schedule an appointment through the QLS Consular Online System. Here it is. After being patient, this is what shows on the screen after selecting the time date in passport renewal. Due to high demand for appointment, all slots for the next 30 days are currently taken. Appointment can be made only within a month in advance. Please try again later. Thank you. This appears on the screen after choosing. I browse the QLIS Consular Philippine Embassy, Washington, D.C. Then, since Washington, D.C. is Eastern Daylight Time, so click this Eastern Daylight Time. I keep trying and trying again to schedule as sometimes others who are scheduled are canceling their appointment or they already got their appointment finished earlier so due to high demand for appointments all slots for the next 30 days are currently taken appointment can be made only within a month in advance please try again later thank you it says on the screen and I tried to research if there's any other possible way, again, for passport renewal. Watching other vlogs and Google research on how to renew Philippine passport at the Philippine Embassy, Washington, D.C. Lots of peers on videos and I choose which one I really like to watch so that I can have knowledge and idea how to renew my passport and also online research finally got some ideas of it and i tried it and it works faster than i imagine how to get an appointment online as online appointment confirmation is very important when you enter in the embassy first hinahanap pagpasok yan pagdating mo sa embahada so just this browse DFA Philippine Embassy and then select and then go to services and then choose passport and then select book appointment and then that's how I really set an appointment online. Welcome to the DFA online passport appointment system. Review all the fields in the online form carefully and provide complete accurate information. Reminder, notation or notice. Applicants are advised to use only Google or Yahoo email accounts in securing an appointment to avoid any technical incompatibilities email address restrictions and accessibility may vary on your access locations country and or email servers on my appointment i use my gmail email for example badidai100 at gmail.com that's only an example of my gmail.com or google in order to proceed just click this and click this start individual appointment if you are applying alone and if you are applying in group and then click the group application or appointment after clicking this start individual appointment this is how it shows 
individual appointment site location and then we can see here the specify the site where you want to set an appointment region then click this asia pacific and then you can see all regions like europe north america south america middle east i click north america this appears on the screen country special administrative region please select country where we renew our philippine passport under north america region are countries canada and united states of america i click united states of america as i'm living here in florida or any states here in america this appears on the screen country special administrative region of course united states of america then go to site this appears philippine consulate agana philippine consulate chicago they have also philippine consulate outreach mission chicago philippine consulate honolulu philippine consulate houston philippine consulate los angeles philippine consulate new york philippine consulate san francisco philippine embassy washington philippine embassy outreach mission i select philippine embassy washington dc <music> notice appointment book at any day if a consular office is non transferable and cannot be rescheduled if an applicant wishes to make any changes after obtaining their appointment the existing appointment must first be cancelled a new appointment can be then be booked click confirm to continue the reading all the notice i click confirm that i have read and understood and agreed to the above conditions After clicking confirm or checking this confirm, click next and this is how it appears on the screen. Month and date availability. Please be advised that your chosen time and slot to reserve for 30 minutes. Month of May are all fully booked trying month of june it's fully booked again i'm done for my appointment so i'm just waiting for my passport to deliver this appears when you choose your schedule and then the time you have to choose which one After successfully have appointment, please check your Gmail or Yahoo Mail you use to fully confirm your appointment and then please print it. This is my printed schedule appointment confirmation.
Information Online Appointment, prepare your accomplice application form. This is the image. And then, if you are married, females are using their spouse last name, must also present original and submit photocopy of PSA, authenticated marriage contract on security paper or report of marriage. And then also bring your birth certificate, local civil registrar's copy if required if PSA birth certificate is not clear or cannot be read. During my day of appointment, we went in the Philippine Embassy. So this is where we went to. Unfortunately, we are plenty already there gathering together. Yeah, confusing if it's the consulate or embassy where we're gonna go for a new wall as we are already there like groups and then it's still closed luckily hubby is with us and he tried to use the intercom and ask is this the philippine embassy for philippine passport renewal somebody answered of course our filipino kabayan siempre said that it should be in the consular across this philippine embassy at first i came to the wrong embassy but nothing to worry because it's just cross the street yeah there's two embajadas there yeah the philippine embassy and the consular like face to face yeah across the road but before you cross the road just follow the rules yeah the road <laughs> rules yeah so when we arrive in the consular section office embassy fronting that embassy of the philippines there's a guy went out and asked for the uh, passport or for the appointment here and then we said because we're already plenty there yes for renewal yeah and then it's there in the what we call this like kiosk or i don't know what we call it it says uh, must need to wear face mask i already bring my own face mask mm, this is my image we get inside and the guy said do you have an appointment confirmation i said yes and then wish your name because the list of people who have scheduled there on that very day so he asked me what's my name my last name and then he looked at it so what time is your appointment i said 11 and then it says there my name is there so do you have a confirmation letter and then i said yes i have so i show this this one that one down as you can see pe washington dc i'm done and then we are told to sit down yeah and there's one girl there lady a very very pleasing personality of course all of them have a very pleasant personality they are very good to us they are very helpful they are very kind yeah mabait sila super bait the girl said in the front desk personnel she said who are the dual citizens raise your hand so others are you know raising their hands who are the permanent residents so i raise my hand go yes ma'am me permanent residents okay uh do you have your uh accomplice form yes and then shoot to us so i show this filing the right form so i show this this kind of form and then they said yeah you're right the girl do thumbs up that one so we are all good of this for all the requirements because we are all prepared but uh, before going to the embassy be sure that you have also your return stamp envelope because when you go there they will let you get it yeah so like based on the other experience i have co filipina because we are in group already because we went to the wrong <laughs> It's not really wrong it's just like front yeah and the other office is the different who process the passport yeah passporting or whatever other so she went out for the priority mail so priority mail envelope is very important also yeah so my experience is really good they treat us so nice madalas doon ang upo yes po opo 
Yeah, and then we are us when my name is called. We are you going to use your, your maiden name? And then if we answered or I answered or we answered or you answered like yes, I will use my husband's or spouse name and then they will ask for the marriage original original PSA authenticated marriage contract on security paper or report of marriage your birth certificate PSA from the Philippine birth certificate and then they ask for your green card and I said yes I have my green card but are already expired but I have my 24 months extension and then they get my green card my 24 months extension letter i was told if i have a copy for that go yes i have a copy back to back yeah for it one copy like this front yeah so you're all good what else yeah and then i have guys said i also have my philippine ids i bring my social security ids from the philippines i have my comelex like phil health pag ibig we are told to wait they bring us to other windows for verification of our original papers yeah so you must have two copy they will get the photocopy photocopy of it and also the passport is still there because they will get it so i do not know if they will return it or not because i'm still waiting for my passport renewed one yeah so when we are there inside just waiting for my name for the three sure or for the payment yeah so i pay 60 dollars in cash 20 20 20 dollars yeah and then after i paid it i have the receipt they give to me the receipt like that and then i'm waiting again and a little bit chit chats because we are plenty of filipinas waiting there yeah yeah <laughs> and then they call me for the encoding ask me well the personnel looking for my self stamp envelope like okay where do you live and what's your address and then i said blah 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 yeah i don't memorize it while well, they are looking for the return self envelope and then, okay good and then they let you see if the spelling are right or if they encode correctly and then i said yes that one my name the spelling uh, birthplace yeah the spelling the birth date i said perfect after that after the encoding they told me to have my one two three four fingers for fingerprinting a little bit press and then my left one two three four fingers for fingerprinting and then my two thumbs for fingerprinting press harder so that it they can see it on the monitor yeah our <laughs> prints yeah and then after it because i have my eyeglasses the personnel told me to remove my glasses so i put it down on the floor directly with my papers my book binder and then he said to me okay look at the camera so it's for the picture taking and after that picture taking they said to me is it good for you is it fine for you for this picture i said yeah perfect and then after the encoding i was told okay wait six to eight weeks your passport will be delivered and officers or officials out there in the consulate or consular embassy philippine in washington dc are very 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 helpful those who ask me on my messenger because i have also friends now who came here at the same visa if what i wear what what's my hairstyle if i wear makeup but for the makeup we use what's this mask it will just erase so just normal me and then no earring you need to remove your earring during the pic the picture taking and also the necklace but i never wear earring and necklace at the time and then what i wear is this that's how i look that's it yeah simple yeah and it's up to you if you feel comfortable yeah 
I wear with, it's not really with color but it's a bit upper yeah mm -hmm. so the experience in the Philippine consular or Philippine Embassy Washington DC is absolutely well experienced because the people there the officers or the officials or the personnel or the staffs in Philippine Embassy Washington DC are very approachable they are all approachable yeah and they are very helpful so we will wait for my passport to come on my mailbox and then I tried to check because we have this tracking number anything else you should have to take picture or copy of your tracking number so that you can track your passport status yeah so mine i tried check it but it's still new i know it's still not yet there and this is the status of my passport it's still not yet because i'm still new renewing it so thank you very much if you have questions please just comment down below yeah and i will share to you my experiences and really really above average and success experience thumbs up philippine consular embassy washington dc my two thumbs up and i salute